Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Spooky Tober. The Bride of Chucky came out in 1998, October of 1988, right around Halloween. And it was the first time they had introduced a new character since Child's Play, which was the very first installment of the movie. And it was Jennifer Tilly. So the premise of the story was she was supposed to be his ex-girlfriend. And she decided to resurrect him after he had been cut up by the police and all bloodied and ragged. And they thought they had really killed him off and all the things, but that wasn't the case. So she resurrected him. And of course, you know how it goes, right? There's no honor amongst thieves. And he turned on her. He got pissed off and after he was resurrected for whatever reason. And he decided he was going to electrocute her ass. <laughs> So he electrocuted her in the bathtub and he felt bad, I guess, and decided to resurrect her in the body of a doll. Boom. If you can't tell, Jennifer Tilly was one of my favorite characters from this movie. But you know what? Let's go ahead and run the footage. Oh my God, y'all. This was insane. She put a whole new meaning on the phrase, stand by your man. Stand by your man. Go ahead, sis. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> she was willing to do anything for good old Chucky. But damn, that's what made the movie good. So let's talk about the process. Oh, the process. How I agonized over this knife. <laughs> I swear to God. I was like pulling out my hair like, what is going on? Like, you know, first of all, I had to figure out what was the right brown. What was going to be giving me the right temperature of all the things that I kind of needed to kind of mix the proper thing to give this knife. Because it is a, it's a significant part of the costume of the character so i really agonized over every little part of it and then i had to start like you know giving myself like a pep talk like oh my god danielle like calm down it's not even that serious like it's a it's supposed to be something fun um <laughs> oh my god but yeah uh just know i went in trying to figure out how to tackle this knife several times um switching between brushes but i mean this is part of the journey right um art is a journey it's a process and it takes you quite some time to get where you want to be but in the end it's all worth it Thank you. 
So this was a super fun part for me where I got to go in and put the dark makeup on. I'm like a goth kid and it really inside, right? Like I don't get to, to like always do it. Like I can't wear goth makeup at all, really. <laughs> So I live vicariously through my characters that I create and that I paint. So she was giving me life. The fact that I could actually put all of these dark lines and dark makeup and all of that stuff on her. And yeah. Here I'm really trying to find a good mixture of color, pinks and reds and oranges and yellows. I'm going through all these different combinations so that I can come up with the perfect orangey, peachy background. But of course it never turned out the way I wanted so I either added too much red or too much of whatever. So even though I'm pretty good with colors and figuring that whole thing out, I struggled quite a bit to come to the perfect tinge of pink and orange and I finally was able to make it. <laughs> Here I put in this little clip of me kind of popping in the different uh, like pop art lines in the background because last time I didn't get to show you guys this whole process. This is what I go through every single time and you know even though my hands are pretty steady with get, doing line work but I still work with my T. It's called like a T ruler or whatever you call it. And I work with my tea ruler to make sure that I'm on point every single time because you want those lines to be bone straight. So I definitely wanted to show you guys this part of the process. comments below i want you guys to tell me what is your favorite horror movie that's question of the day and what do you think we're going to be painting and talking about during next week's episode um yeah i love you guys so so much and i hope you have a spooky 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 rest of your week and i'll catch you on the next one bye